being is benefited by activity in the occupation. That is redefined in occupational yoga. Occupational yoga actuates certain parts of the human body and the mind. Policeman stands for hours to actuate his thigh and cup muscles. Bus conductor moves inside the bus to actuate his heel, knee, toe, thigh and cup muscles. A bus driver sits in his seat to actuate his shoulders and arms. A load man carries a load in the head to actuate his upper thorax, shoulder and the neck. A sweeper leans down and sweeps the floor to actuate his shoulder joints and the spine. A carpenter uses one hand to actuate his hamstring and bicep muscle and the shoulder joints. But, but an administrator, an officer, a judge, a member of a legislative assembly, Parliament and many others merely sit for hours to actuate nothing in their body. Best results in occupation differ with occupation. One person can walk for 10 miles in a stretch, but that person may not be able to bend forward to touch his toe, or may not be able to sit on the floor with folded legs. Another person who can bend forward to touch his toe, but he may not be able to walk the same 10 miles in one stretch. If a third person can walk for 10 miles in one stretch and can bend forward to touch his toe, he may not be able to sit on the floor with folded legs. If a fourth person can do all the three acts in his occupation, he may suffer from obesity. The fifth person may suffer from respiratory diseases, allergy, sinusitis, asthma, bronchitis. The sixth person may suffer from intestinal disorders. The seventh person may suffer from cardiovascular diseases. The eighth person may suffer from gland deficiency, uterus abnormalities, urinary abnormalities sex-related diseases. The ninth person may suffer from spine and nerve disorders, joint pains, and every tenth person may suffer from mental imbalance, leading to alcohol, smoking, and drug addiction, crime, death, suicide, murder, and many more abnormalities. Does every one out of ten he is suffering from unknown abnormality. Yoga is the occupational pain and human being is the recipient of the benefit in occupational yoga. For every person performs a certain undefined yoga in his occupation. Yoga postures is the defined resettlement of working parts of the body towards the best results. This best result differs in different occupations, in the youth force and in the resting force, and the senior citizen in the old age. Therefore, I request every one of you to be benefited in the occupational yoga and perform alternate yoga posture to achieve best results in the working parts of the body and to achieve best results in the skull, in the eyes, ears, nose, mouth, neck, and to achieve best results in the heart, lungs, glands, bones, blood vessels, blood and the heart. Nevertheless, uh, I request every one of you to be happy to be pushed into simple yoga as a supplementary gift in occupational yoga. 
follow Pachari Yoga International Trust for value, knowledge and peace. Thank you and goodbye.